の程度フニュートラあ、oh, Blood Orange be shut down Oh good Pinecone Monkey Also known as me content. Let's get it. I don't know. They call him Orange Ten in the in Japanese, yeah. No, in the um in the armory. That's why I think I suspect the Japanese is me content. I didn't actually look it up. Yo, I want some of these masks. Right. You even get a quest to like help Utsushi get like uh, materials for like a Magnamala mask and you still don't get to wear it. Aww. Lame. You can get a Kahoot head though. <laughs> That's pretty tempting. <laughs> it's really creepy. Lean <laughs> over someone with the owl face. It's weird because it like, so the head is like, it covers your head, like your head becomes a Kahoot head. Uh -huh. But also it extends, so it looks more like you have your Kahoot on your head, like, sticking out of the neck hole in your armor. <laughs> Hold I on, I gotta show head. you this. It's so weird. Look at this. <laughs> oh, god, that's pretty cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so cursed. Oh, here's the monk's nail hat. Oh, hey! It has jiggle physics. I like. Oh, you can also get a crown, apparently. I'm a royalty now. <laughs> what else? That's about it. It could be a demon, I guess. <laughs> Here comes the more terrifying introductions. Ten, that's unnecessary. That's uncalled for. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Theo. How are you? Oh, yeah, they come with us. Yeah, she comes with you a lot. As much as I wish she didn't. Sometimes. Although she kind of heals with life powder, but she is not the wide range sword and shield build. Galius, on the other hand, has wide range. He's a bro. <laughs> oh, she's loud. Why is her voice so loud? It's very loud. The worst part is when you do like the follower quests. And you take Luchika with you, the girl, the woman in the command center with the purple outfit. She's a heavy gunner and she is like. She's like some kind of yandere or something. Uh -huh. But, uh. She actively, like, is just like. Like, I will be doing something and then she'll run off at the monster and be like, oh. It's like, oh, it's like, why are, like, she just, like, starts, like, very passive-aggressively going, aren't you gonna, like, are you just gonna run for the monster? And, like, oh, how come we're not fighting the monster? And I'm like, bitch, please, I gotta get my bird. <laughs> Stop. I at least understand the train of thought, but, like, the game has been presented in this way, and unfortunately. 
Uh, and it's like, I would love to run at the monster and not have to pick up birds, but unfortunately, we are in the worst timeline. <sighs> it got old after 10 missions, Capcom, please. I, I thought it was a dumb idea from the first mission. I did too. I actually spent a good portion of the base game not collecting birds. I would just run at the monster with what health I had. Yeah. Because I was just like, frick this. Unfortunately, you can't really get away with that in Master Rank. Especially if you're like me who's playing the gas glass cannon build. Um, what... When I was playing with, um... Jen and Nariko when Rise first came out on Switch. Yeah. I was just like trying to figure out what to uh why 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 eating wasn't giving me like the health I I thought I needed. Oh. And then I realized and I was instantly upset. <laughs> and the worst part is they give you more petal laces and I'm like, "Oh good, more base health, but no." You just have to pick up more birds. Uh. Yeah, Jen, Jen really just like did not get this game and she was just like, yeah, I'm done and just quit. <laughs> and I don't blame to, her. Went back to world. <laughs> she plays world with um, another one of my friends on PS4. And then... Um, Nariko, on the other hand, like, picked it up and was just like, Oh, I don't understand why you don't like it. And then, like, went and, like, went nuts on this game with her uh, boyfriend. And they, like, completed it on both Switch and on PC. Yeah, I noticed. And I was just like, oh, really? And then well, I, Some people were like... I, I was talking to him, right? I was talking to Jamie, her boyfriend, and I was just like, He's all, like, telling me, like, I was like, oh, I, I don't like this game as much as World, and he goes, really, I think this game looks a lot better and is a lot more fun, and I'm like, I, what, really? Oh, to each their own. Uh, yeah, to each their own, clearly, I don't, I, I, it's, it's fine, it's just, you know, very much leaning the other direction. I enjoy the combat. I don't know, I get the feeling that he was kind of into the uh, aesthetic, because it is, it is pretty, but it's not high-fidelity pretty, it's more just like simplified art style and good color. I don't know, and I, I feel like the interface looks really bad. <laughs> I appreciate that the menuing is a lot faster, though I feel like the um the radial menu is a lot more responsive in this, although I don't use it very often on the far pin. Sure. I still do the 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 scroll thing on the bottom right because I'm so used to like Monster Hunter 1 and 2. Yeah. I do use the radial menu in the world though. I don't use it much here. I barely use it. I feel like it doesn't respond half the time when I need it. I think the only time I use a radio menu is during extremist fights. And that's just to do the emote, which I probably cannot do consistently anymore. <laughs> I used to be good at it. And we can all we can all practice world again in the future. It's not like it's gone anywhere. Where I still have all my builds. It's a lot of fire. That's the red tango or something. A 
Okay, I have got to turn down voices for ending characters because she's very loud compared to everyone else. Follow her voice volume. Way lower. Because that's going to drive me insane. There's still yeah, just wait till you have two of them. No loud. I think it would bother me less if she wasn't breathing and panting while we were playing. I was like, what the fuck? Oh. I just gotta tune her out. It's loud. Damn it. Ah, he has a funny walk. What? He has a funny run. Yeah. Scampering along. No. I have a marionette. Yeah, sure, that so makes how sense. Big, how big uh, do you think the pine tree that this thing got off <laughs> of is? Well... Not... Oh my god. Well, let me think, uh... Carrying the pine cone they... is typically the size of your fist, and that thing's hands are half the size of our body. Yeah, that's a pretty fucking damn big tree. Probably breaks the ground underneath it. Not quite and redwood, the... but it's up there. <laughs> it's the female pine cones, too. There's a Rathian. Oh, but I'm Master Rank 2. Huzzah. Huzzah.
increase skill memory. So you know how you can equip skills on your. Oh, I have a good um thing actually. You should look at. That close chrome. I close chrome. Eh. Uh. Here, you should check that out for for figuring out Pelico and Pelamute skills. It's actually really useful. Although I don't know that you have everything unlocked yet. Where'd you send it? It kind of um, a Steam. Should I put it in Discord? Oh, Steam. Okay. okay no. I can put it in Discord. I see it now. I see it now. Okay. <sighs> it kind of gives a purpose to having more than one uh, Palacor Palamute. Hmm. Because basically, you can, like, aside from like some of their main skills, you can basically, like, swap out, start swapping out skills. Um, so you can customize them further. Gin. Gin, yeah. Gin. Or Jin, depending. Nah, it's Gin because I have uh, Keen as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I actually recommend the fighter palicles are kind of useful. They have a really good buff. Okay. Well, my fighter palico is tiny and weak. I mean, it'll get there, eventually. Because, uh, Rousing Roar gives you a lot of, uh... Gives you, I think, was it like... I think it's like crit chance and something else. And then it kind of works out because if you do, so they're like attack focused on um, Palicos, so if you, uh, so if you do that kind of build for both your Palamute and your Palicos, for the most part the ranged blunt build with status effects, your cat just kind of like wails on the monster and builds up status really fast. So I run Paralysis on both of my... I run ranged paralysis on both of my pal um, buddies, and it works out really well. Ranged attack up, element attack up. Oh, there's slots. I see. Yeah, and you get more of those skills. Um, so you got to hire new buddies in master rank because they added new skills like range centric and whatever. Um. That you can, like, so when you hire a buddy, they come with it. So if any of your buddies have learned that skill, you can equip it on whatever Palacor or Palamute you want. Hmm. Uh, but you gotta, like, look. So usually when you hire buddies, you gotta start looking at stuff. I was so sad, because I actually had to let some go to get be able to get the new skills. And I was like, I'm sorry. Because I feel bad. I, I feel like I'm firing them. <laughs> I was like, no. Because then you talk to your audience, he's like, oh yeah, you know, they've been training really hard because they hope you're going to take them on a mission. And I'm like, ah. Get out. Leave. You're no longer No, wanted. no. <laughs> oh my god, no. But it effectively turned your dog into an artillery cannon.
then I don't know, if you have free time, you might want to go back to uh, high rank and finish off all your side quests to get all your uh, submarines and palico or palamute gear and stuff. I have free time, but I tend to use it for other games. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, if you've got time.